Hello guys, myself Dr. Nilofo. I'm a bioinformatics global scientist at Biotechnica. Today, in this particular video, we all are going to discuss about the importance of Uniprod KB, that is knowledge-based database. So as you all can see guys, like on the home page of the particular Uniprod database. So basically Uniprod is the universal protein knowledge-based database. And it is one of the comprehensive high quality and widely used database for protein sequence and functional information. So whenever you guys are really interested to explore the particular information of any protein and to understand the functional importance of that, so definitely this is the right database to explore accordingly. Because this database is provide you not only the information about the protein sequence and their functional information, but Additional to that, you will get some key features of the same. It's nothing but here you will get the protein sequence, which contain the amino acids information about the wide variety of the organism specific, right? And followed with that, you will even get to know the functional annotations. It's nothing but the domain structure, interaction, subcellular locations, and also the specific protein, what you're looking over here, it's belong to which specific disease. And followed with that, you will even get to know the, some cross references where it can link for the other databases and you can retrieve the further information so that you can set up or else design your further workflow to carry out the research findings based on your disease topic of your interest. So in that, you will get to know certain PDB information. It's nothing but the 3D structures of your protein target. Or else you can even explore the expression analysis of the protein with the gene information and the pathways relevant to that. So yeah, definitely. It is one of the comprehensive resource. That's why you're getting a huge number of information. And you can even explore the relevant kind of variant informations with the mutations data. And here in this particular recent updates with the Uniprod KB database, you will even get to know certain kind of uh, proteomics information, evolutionary information of, of your protein target. And then you can even look ahead for designing certain kind of drug targets based on the specific protein target of your interest with the precision medicine application. Yeah, so there is a lots of applications to go ahead. So the overall overview with this particular database, which we are going to see, like how to use this particular database for the specific research-based application, and to integrate the different information of starting from protein sequence to their functional annotations, right? So here you all of you can see that it's a homepage of protein database, which will give you a brief overview about recent release, about new applications, the statistical information about the data set, right? And then you will even get to know the help page so that you can get to know more informations and get retrieved accordingly. As you all can see that it's clearly mentioned in the homepage itself, like Uniprod is a world leading, high quality, comprehensive, free accessible resource for protein sequence and function information. If you guys are interested to get to know more about this database, then definitely you can cite to this particular paper. Okay, so it will lead you towards the PubMed database where you will get a full length of research paper with Uniprod information. So please try to do that. Then here they have provided like you can search your specific protein keyword. So for example, they have provided the name of the protein, insulin, with the keyword APP. You can even go with organism specific, with specific IDs of the particular protein data sets, organism IDs and so on. Certain advanced searches are even provided, so you all of you can explore for the same. Forward with that, you all of you can see that this particular Uniprod database is providing you a revised, that is called as the protein data, which is get revised with the functional information and some literature analysis, and the unrevised, which is called as a TRM bill. So this unrevised is nothing but still the follow-up studies to be taken. Okay, but the data is get deposited in this Uniprod database. Okay. The second thing you will find that this database is not providing you the protein information to specific organism, but you will get a comprehensive set of that. 
So they have provided the specific species of the protein proteome information. And then the protein clusters. So you can even get to know whatever the proteins are available, how it is similar, the clusters according to that. Sequence archive is also available where you can even get to know the protein scenes across with a different database. Below you all of you can see that the supporting data which contain human disease, cross-reference information of with the databases, keywords, subcellular locations, related reference information with the citations, and a quick spotlight with the uniprot information with the least news. And this is really important, guys. If you just scroll down, you will find the analysis tool. It's nothing but the BLAST database. So here, you all of you get to know a quick overview that what you all have to do after understanding the Uniprot database. Got it. So the next step is that you can explore the BLAST database where you can perform the search with the sequence and find the homologous through the pairwise sequence alignment using BLAST database. The second is that you can even get to know and align with two or more sequences and get to know the taxonomy of your protein sequence information by using Cluster Omega as a database. You can even map the proteins and get to know other relevant information to understand the overview about your protein target. We can even explore the proteomics analysis ahead with the peptide sequence, immunological analysis, and some more. So ultimately, this will give you a quick guide like how to move ahead with this database for the further analysis. That's why it is called as a one of the leading and uh, comprehensive database. Okay, some more updates are still under the process. Soon we will get that kind of benefits for the same. As you all can see that we will have a quick overview, like if you just search for the insulin and drop a search from here. So you will definitely get a comprehensive search option. So in that you have to filter accordingly, revised, unrevised, and lots of organism specific information is get provided. So you can filter out with those things, right? And here you all can see that it's a tabular representation, which contain a list of total entry, which we can download. Right, you all can see that the total number of hits you will get over here. You can even select the specific target, for example, this one, which contain the Uniprot ID. And this symbol indicate the revised status. And then the entry name, protein name, gene name, organism name, and what is the length of the AA, that is amino acids over here. So if you just launch this, you will find the first protein is providing you a bulk of information over here. It's nothing but the function information about the protein target. You will even get to know the uh, taxonomical information for the same. Followed with that, you can even get the subcellular location, disease and variant information, post translation modification, expression analysis interaction, structure of the protein, family and the domain information, sequence and isomers, and some similar proteins of your interest. So fact, we are getting a comprehensive information in the same database. So it's good to pick and then move ahead. So here, you all can see that it contains the protein information, which will give you the name of the protein, gene name, and the organism specific with the status. Forward with that, you will find what is the annotations with the score the protein is having. And then you will get to know the protein evidences. That is really important with the amino acid sequences. So this is the important step what you all have to understand. Step in the sense like an overview you will get. And every icon over here will give you a brief overview, like why the scores has been taken over here. Got it. And you will get the entry with the variant Weaver. This is something new updates which added. Feature Weaver, genomic coordinates information, publication relevant towards the Uniprot information, some external links, and some history with the same. So you will get the functional information about the protein over here. So you can refer accordingly. 
you will even get to know the gene annotation informations with this particular protein target with respect to some organism specific information and also the disease one the keywords is nothing but the external database links you will find enzyme database pathway database rectum database it's the same with the protein family information name and taxonomy gene name information organism name information to get to know the one protein is involved with some more type of species proteome informations where organism specific database so majorly as you all can see that the external links you will get from here so that you can explore in depth ahead subcellular locations will give you an guidance like how this particular protein is involved with the cell level information whereas the disease and variants are really important because here you will get to know the change okay with respect to the disease type and then you can even get to know the variant id from here followed with that you will get the organism specific information with the publication if you scroll down guys you will even get to know the variant and this we have observing that now post translation processing information you will find over here so you you can even explore everything is very comprehensive guys so you can go accordingly and explore that particular overview whereas the expressions will give you an information about the links of additional database such as expression at lance uh where you will you can even explore the particular expressions of that particular targets then the interactions you will find the interactions of the specific protein with the disease target of your interest so just have a view the structures will provide you the 3d structure information of your protein tag so majorly here in the 3d structures you will get to know the pdb id structure informations with x ray and mr or else it is taken from the alpha fold that is artificial based mm -hmm. technique so that is fabulous over here then family and domain informations you will get to know the phylogenetic or is the phylogenomics analysis with some additional database links family and domain database information and definitely a sequence information so what is the length of our sequence is 1 and 10 and then it will even get to know the sequence isoform with the keywords and some sim similar proteins you will even find over here with 100% pertain percentage of protein identity 90 or the 50 so that you can explore more and get to know the overview about your protein targets so here that is all about the entry you can even launch the variant weaver so that you can explore specifically with the variant weaver tool and get to know the specific variants with the type of mutations and again you will get the specific protein uh, database link so that you can explore with the specific databases feature weaver is even there where you can weave the features with the more interactive analysis okay antigenicity mutagenicity variant proteomics okay so you can even have the interactive analysis for that genomic coordinates will give you a gene uh informations with a reference genome as you all can see the reference genome informations is get provided so that you can explore more with the external database and definitely we have a publication so here in the publications you will get to know the information of relevant publications with respect to the target of our interest some external links will guide you like how to get some more database links so that you can perform bulk of analysis ahead and design your future or as a further research pipeline to carry out any kind of projects if you are planning or as any kind of research um specific topic if you are interested to go and propose ahead so this is overview regarding the same i hope that you all of you have understood the overview with the swiss uh, information with this uniprot kb so i hope that uh, all the points are clear so you will even get to know the swiss prot informations with additional database to pro proceed ahead so i think in the one database it's providing you a comprehensive information of your protein target so i just highly recommend to all of you guys like whenever you are exploring 
spend a time explore all the things very patiently because ultimately it will give you a very bulk of information okay so you can even download you can even take help of certain tools to explore more you can add your results to your cart so you all you can see that one of the results is added to my cart so next time there is no need to do the repetitive work i have to i can quickly go with the specific search what i have done earlier so that is very customized things which is get provided so you guys have to take the benefits of that and apply for your research point of view so with that note i will just finally conclude the overview with uniprod database thank you once again